Okay, okay. everybody. Ich bin Fatima. Okay. Ah. It's working for me. Uh, my name is Sivo Tsvetkov. I'm representing the Forest Research Institute, uh, Sofia. It's a small institute, but uh, the only one institute, research institute active in the forestry field. Uh, I think, uh, I guess, uh, close to the end of the working day, that most of you are tired, so I'll be try, I'll try to, to be really fast. Uh, after hearing lots of wonderful presentations, I think we are still newcomers in this field, and that's the, the truth, because the, this, uh, this, this activity has been uh, included in the uh, research post portfolio of the Institute during the, the recent years. At the same time, like the previous presenter, uh, similar to the previous presenter, are not directly included in the study. This is done by my colleagues from the Department of uh, uh, Entomology Phytopathology and forest fauna. Anyway, I'll try to, to present you, uh, in short, two very simple uh, studies as an illustration of the, uh, uh, the potential use of uh, the remote sensing uh, for uh, assessment of fit sanitary state of uh, trees and shrubs in uh, forest ecosystems as well as in uh, urban green areas. Uh, the first study is devoted on remote sensing assessment of uh, expansion dynamics of IPS typographers. It's, uh, it's well known, the European spruce bark beetle, and uh, its damages in Chuprena Reserve. The objective of the study is to assess dynamics of attacks and damages caused by the European spruce bark beetle in Chuprena Reserve. Some interesting facts about the reserve. It's a former biosphere reserve. Uh, actually, it was uh, withdrawn the last year from the list. It includes the northern most natural coniferous forest in Bulgaria. Uh, the total is uh, 1,455 hectares. Uh, it covers uh, approximately 90% of the territory. Steep and very steep terrains prevail in the reserve. And the vegetation is dominated by uh, 100 and 120 years of uh, old Norway spruce stands. This is the equipment which is used uh, in this study. We have a flying wing type uh, lab system, EB, uh, integrated with the multispectral camera, powered sequoia, providing images in four channels of the electromagnetic uh, spectrum, plus uh, uh, in a standard HB channel. The camera is equipped with a solar radiation sensor for calibration of the obtained reflex images. Some words about the methodology. The health assessment uh, was accomplished via a well-known NDVI uh, index obtained by digital mixing uh, the imagery captured uh, in the right and near infrared range. Uh, there is the trees vitality were examining according to preliminary defined range levels, uh, uh, namely when the index were more than uh, 0 0.7. Seven, uh, the stands uh, has been considered as uh, healthy, health ones. When the index uh, was uh, less than uh, 0 0.5, uh, uh, it was the real bike beetle spots. And uh, when the, the index value was between uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.7, this was considered that these are trees uh, infested with the bike beetle. The vision planning was done by a specialized platform, SenseFly Emotion. The airborne images uh, obtained in 2011 and 2015, uh, plus uh, WAF images uh, obtained in 2017 when this, uh, this research, this study was done, combined with satellite images uh, from 2020 were combined with terrestrial verification uh, in this study and the assessment of bike beetle spots and the dynamics of their extension were carried out in uh, GIS environment. Uh, seven flights were carried out uh, in September, October 2017, and it covered a uh, representative part of uh, 314 hectares, which is uh, which amounts of uh, approximately 20% of the reserve area. Uh, you can see from left to right uh, the difference in the uh, ground sampling distance and the special resolution of the multispectral and RGB images. Uh, some words about the terrain verification. Actually, uh, both the studies were accompanied by terrain verification or is to 
observation, which means that we are speaking about the kind of uh, integrative approach. Two expeditions and four sites were studied in detail during September, October 2017. At least uh, 10 dead trees were surveyed in each uh, site for, for presence of larvae, pupae, adults, uh, or underbark galleries. And the population density was determined, uh, of the bark beetle was determined by the number of families and exit holes in a small sample plots uh, where the size is uh, 40 by 20 centimeters. The data processing in analyzing uh, the following platforms have been used. It speaks uh, for D, the Sentinel application platform, also some GIS application, and uh, finally combined NDVI data and uh, RGB images were used to outline the boundaries of the affected areas. This is the table uh, where you can see the final results. As you can see, uh, the area of damages areas increase it during the years. And only here you can see that average spot area uh, during the last year, 2020, uh, decreased and uh, actually uh, it was due to the appearance of new infestation and some new migration spots. Uh, finally, satellite images show it that the bug beetle killed spruce trees on an area of uh, approximately 10% of the total reserve area. This is the second study. It's devoted to integrated assessment of green infrastructure condition in the Carroll urban area by in-situ observation and remote sizing. The objective is similar to apply an integrated approach for monitoring the health condition of urban green infrastructure areas by remote sensing and in-situ observation. Uh, some words about the Carroll. Carroll is a small town with uh, 28,000 inhabitants situated in central Bulgaria at the south foot of the Balkan Mountains. According to the, our National Council for Special Development, uh, different kind of uh, categories of uh, urban ecosystem were developed, uh, this kind of typology, and the, the study was focused on the uh, G5 sub-level, namely these were urban green areas, in, which included also sport and leisure facilities. This is the studied urban green areas in Karlovo town. Uh, the first one, it was Park of Prostova Gora. The second one, it was the central park of the city. The third one, the hunting park and the city around the, uh, in the city, the, the area around the city stadium. And the last one, it was a waterfall called Suchurum. It's uh, situated in the northern park. The uh, remote sensing equipment and uh, meteorological details are more or less the same. Uh, also, the study was uh, combined with in-situ observations. Uh, two observations were done in the period of May, July 2016. Uh, again, the phytosanitary state was evaluated on 10 specimens for each species because there are lots of uh, different species uh, which were found in this area. And the harmful effects and damages were estimated on the basis of the percentage of cone defoliation and leaf discoloration according to well-known cooperative program for us. Uh, uh, and uh, five classes which were proposed by this, uh, this program. When caused by phytophagous arthropods and photopathogens, they were differentiated into three categories according to gradation of the native species, detection of invasive species, range of trophic groups, the pest belong to, uh, and the physiological state of the host plant. These are the real results. And you can see that in the first uh, study area, in almost 50% of the, uh, this area, NDVI was uh, more than 0 0.75, but there are also some large zones with uh, poor vegetation in which NDVI values were between uh, 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. The second study, this is the center of the city. Uh, it's featured with uh, more fragmented green infrastructural elements and uh, smallest coverage in this area. More than 50% of the territory was represented by built-up areas and only about 15% of the central part of the city had NDVI more than 0.75%. More 75, uh, sorry. Uh, and this is the, the third area. This is the hunting park and the stadium. Uh, in this area, at least 20, 20% had NDVI more than 
0 0.75 due to the decisive participation of the green zones with uh, good vitality. The last uh, zone, it was around the, the waterfall, and this area was characterized with a good uh, special coverage of green zones in relatively good phytosanitary condition. And uh, uh, in more than 40% of the world territory, uh, the index was more than uh, 0 0.7. But this is an illustration of the situ observation. You can see from left to right, uh, damage caused by uh, um, Ophius Tona Novoumi in the Central Park, and the subject had been the elm trees. So from left to right is a dying tree, uh, respectively dead tree, and the, on, the, on the right side, these are the galleries of the elm bark beetle, Scobitus multistriatus, uh, which is uh, considered as a vector transmitting the disease. Based on the, these studies, uh, two general conclusions could be made. The first one is that uh, remote sensing techniques are useful tool for mapping of uh, Ipstifographus outbreaks and applicable for steep and uh, inaccessible terrains, difficult for using classic entomological and uh, phytopathological methods. And on the second place, an assessment of uh, phytosanitary state of tree and shrub vegetation in protected areas and urban green infrastructure zones based on an integrative approach of using remote sensing and in situ observation could be extensively implemented for health monitoring of forest and urban ecosystems. I think that's it. Thanks for your attention.